This is a permanent magnet. Here's the North Pole, and here's the South. So what happens when you cut a magnet? Do you end up with one North magnet and one South magnet? Actually, no. In a way, you could say it's kind of like a cell that divides. When you cut a magnet, you get two small magnets, each with its own North and South Pole. Even if you were to split those further, you just end up with even smaller magnets. It's just not possible to isolate or split the poles. Now, most people know that both poles of a magnet attract certain metals. For example, paper clips, like these. Both poles attract them because they're made of steel. But what if, instead of a metal paper clip, we let the magnet meet another magnet? Well, opposite poles attract and the same poles repel, like this. This happens because of how magnetic fields work. You can control a magnet for example, make it move or spin, by leveraging the magnetic fields of a side magnet like this. But the problem with the permanent magnet is that you can't switch poles in a fast and easy way. That's why we need the electromagnet. Here's an electromagnet. It's made from a non-magnetic metal with wire coiled around it. When an electric current flows through the coil, it gives the metal a north pole and a south pole. The advantage of the electromagnet compared to a permanent magnet is that you can turn the magnet properties on or off by connecting or disconnecting the flow of electric current. But more than that, you can change its polarity by reversing the flow of electricity. Also, you can increase its magnetic strength by wrapping more coil around it, like this. Now that we understand the basic principles, let's see how a simple brushless electric motor works. Here's the rotor. It rotates and has permanent magnets. Here's a stator. It's stationary and has electromagnets with their windings and coils. Let's run electricity through one electromagnet. This generates a magnetic pole, which pulls this nearby permanent magnet. But just before the permanent magnet lines up with the electromagnet, we turn off the electric current to that electromagnet. And then we activate the next electromagnet, which now starts to draw the permanent magnet. This keeps the permanent magnet moving rather than stopping. If we continue the cycle of turning each electromagnet on and off, the motor will spin continuously. But how do we improve the rotational spin or torque? One way is to extend the coil from the stator pole and wind it around the opposite stator pole here. This, in essence, turns this set of poles into one electromagnet. Now here is north and this is south. When you run electricity through the shared coil, you're activating both magnetic poles at the same time. These two poles now draw these two permanent magnets, and you've just doubled the attraction force. Now just repeat this pattern. We coil this set of stator poles together. And here's the third set. As electricity flows from one set to the next, each set of electromagnets takes a turn, drawing and pulling the permanent magnets. So how do you control which coils to energize? Well, this is an electronic speed controller, or ESC. It has a sensor that detects the position of the rotor magnets so that it can decide which coil to energize. The brushless DC motor has many advantages over the traditional brushed motor. First of all, you can achieve maximum rotation speed rather quickly. It's also silent, lighter, has a longer lifespan. Typically, it has an 85 to 90% efficiency compared to the brush motor, which is about 75 to 80% efficient. The brushless motor is also more reliable. It has a lower predictive failure rate, requires less maintenance, and consumes less energy. Also, because it lacks brushes, it doesn't produce sparks, so you can use it in flammable environments. But the brushless motor has its disadvantages too. It also has a complex management system to control the right sequence. Naturally, this means the brushless motor costs more. So there you have it. Stay tuned for an upcoming video on how the Tesla electric motor works. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.